Hey guys, it's Mr. Jax. Some of y'all may know me from Killian Middle School, but I am the new Paint 2 art teacher, Drawing 2 art teacher. I'm also going to be teaching Art 1, and then a mixed uh, painting 3 and 4. So I'm not the best at making these videos, but I'll do my best. And uh, I'm going to try to do my best to make sure you have what you need for the remote learning for the first three weeks. <clears throat> This video is just going to talk about some supplies that you'll need. Hopefully you'll have some of this already at home. If not, uh, you are going to need to go out and buy it. So I went through a couple stores and tried to find some of the cheapest uh, supplies that I could find to help you out. I'm going to give you some other options as well. Alright, so first let's talk about your sketchbook that you're going to need. Now this is different than any other sketchbook. This is a mixed media sketchbook okay if you notice it says 110 pound that means it talks about the thickness of the paper this is a good thickness okay this was bought at hobby lobby and i used a some some of these are actually half off right now so it's gonna be very helpful i know this price is scary uh but you can get this half off or use the 40 percent off coupon from their app that they have, so download that, it'll be helpful. The other one can be found at Michael's Hobby Lobby. Oh, and this can also be found at Michael's as well. These, so Michael's Hobby Lobby, uh, Target may have this, Walmart should have it, uh, but this is a little bit less, it's 98 pound, that's still good, okay? I, I like it because it's still smooth and it helps with watercolor, uh, which we'll go over here in just a minute. It'll help with acrylic when we get back to school. It'll help with other materials. It's a good, nice, strong paper. So 110, obviously, is thicker. It's great, but this will work. It does not matter, as long as it says mixed media, okay? If you notice, it says what it uses. Or it can be used with acrylic, watercolor, pen and, pe uh, pen and pencil. All right, so there's that. Let's say you don't have the finances to pick up a sketchbook. Well, you can use basic paper. The only issue is it's gonna wrinkle up. Now, I'm not saying that the other paper won't wrinkle up because we're using watercolor right now, uh, but this will work. I just wanna make sure you guys have what you need and that way you can, we can all just kind of be together creating art. This is a little bit different paper. This is a cardstock paper. You can get this in huge bulk for about five bucks or so. So. Uh, this can help as well if needed, if you don't have a sketchbook. Now, let's talk about the paints. Now, I mentioned watercolor a second ago. Uh, that's the only thing we're going to be using at home for three weeks because it's the easiest for me to teach virtual. Uh, I can teach drawing all day long because it really just requires either a pen or pencil, right? And markers, colored pencils, whatnot. But I'm going to help you get just familiar with watercolor, even though you've had it before, because this is painting too. I'm just trying to warm you guys up, okay? Because we're gonna touch base on all these other projects uh, later on, a little bit more in depth as well. So I got this at Target for 99 cents. Something like this will do. You know what won't do is this brush. This brush is not that great. We're gonna talk about brushes in a minute, okay? The next is Crayola. I believe I got this at Michael's for a couple dollars, maybe three to five dollars. But again, Michael also, if you have their app, you can do a coupon to use for these products. Uh, I like this one because it gives you plenty of colors. There's 16. You really don't need all these colors. That brush isn't bad. This brush is a uh, made out of synthetic hair or it could be actually like squirrel hair. I don't like it because Hair, see look, I don't, you can't see that, but there's hair that comes out. I don't like it. Well, again, we'll talk about brushes in a minute. You don't need all these colors. You can do an eight set if you want. Here's something else I found for about three to five dollars is 24 set, okay? Tons to choose from. If you have something already at home that you're using, for instance, I do, look, it's used. This is fine. Like, I can make this last for three weeks. If you have something that you've had for years, 
your parents have it, your grandparents have a relative that can let you use it to save money, please save money and get yourself uh, something that is used. That's fine. So again, let's go over this used. So this is an eight set used I've had for years. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's lasted that long. I also have this from when I first started teaching. It was from a student who just never collected it. I just took it with me. Uh, this is old, but it's still great. Watercolor can usually last for a long time. And then I have this. This is used. So again, if you have relatives that have used products for you, ask and maybe you can use it for the first three weeks. The other thing you're going to need is some basic markers. If, if you have some that are used, great, use them. But these are pretty cheap. You can go to any store and pick them up. Uh, we're going to do some watercolor effects with this as well. And I know right now it seems very elementary because you're like, Mr. Jacks, we're in high school. What's up? I guarantee you uh, it's going to be advanced, but it's going to be fun. And I think you're going to enjoy it. But most of all, my job is to make sure while you're at home, remote learning, it's not stressful. So that's my goal. To make sure you're enjoying painting too, that it's not treated like a child, uh, but at the same time enjoying it. All right, so brushes. I've got these brushes at, uh, this was Hobby Lobby. I know that price is scary, right? You don't need all these brushes. I'm gonna talk about the basic brushes that you need here in just a second. But this can help for the remainder of the year if you went ahead and bought, bought all these, okay? Because you may go through some brushes and you may damage some brushes, so it's always good to have some backups, all right? Again, you can use it, the app to help you with this. Uh, if you find a smaller set, that's fine. Again, you don't need all these. I picked these out because I saw a square brush, which is, you know, flat brush, your round brush, and your basic liner brush. I got this set at Michael's. For about eight bucks a lot cheaper has everything i need round square liner brush but has extras just in case now here's some brushes that i've had for literally years who knows where i got them but if you have a parent or uh, a sibling a friend who has some supplies you might be able to use please ask them this is a really nice square brush don't care about the brand a very nice round brush all right it's a couple of years old. It still works. Remember, we're just using watercolor, so it's not going to get damaged. And here's a basic liner brush. These are what you're going to need just for the first three weeks, okay? That's it. I'll put these all in an email, too, with this video. A couple other things you'll need. Uh, maybe like a cloth or paper towel will work for your watercolor. An old jar or an old cup will work as well. Some painter's tape. If you have, you're not going to use this whole roll, I guarantee you. You're not, you're, this will help just keep areas clean uh, on your, uh, well, while you're painting. So other things you're going to need uh, to help. Uh, ballpoint pens will work. We're going to be doing some illustrations on top of our watercolors. Here's one that's more of a gel sort of ink or liquefied. You can use either or, doesn't matter. Mechanical pencil might be very helpful. Uh, just a basic drawing pencil. These things are gonna be uh, used and required. So it's really up to you. Basically, thing what you need is pencil and a pen, okay? Let's see what else you need to cover. So I did put as an option just some basic crayons. If they're old, that'll work. It doesn't matter, they don't have to be brand new. We'll be doing some, uh, I know this is very elementary looking, but we can actually use it for advanced work. Believe me, uh, if you know who I am, I'm very passionate about painting, drawing, illustration, art in general, especially at the advanced levels. And I love making sure kids grow towards that area as they advance through school. So um, trust me, I, I'm, 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 I'm gung-ho about it. I'm ready to uh, get started, so. I believe that is all that I have to really show you. Just remember, if you have relatives that have old items, ask to use them. That's okay for the first three weeks. Remember, old brushes will work for watercolor, pencils, whatever you can do to bring to the table that is least expensive for you, 
that's good. All right, thank you for watching. Please watch this video over and over again. Please email me based off the email that I'm about to send with this video if you uh, need any help. All right, this is to be expected to have August 19th ready to go. Um, so that way we can get started, all right? I'd love for us to get started on some painting the first week of school. All right, guys. Bye.